Hi guys, I finished uh, working on the first uh, ex impression of uh, 3D modeling. Like, I guess the only thing that is still missing is uh, shadows and uh, I think that I will do it somewhere in the near future, but like for now what I uh, created, it's already, I guess, uh, mostly the uh, AAA games and uh, you can like do whatever you want, just you can like move around, but it's not a problem, it's uh, something that I will just improve in the future. But uh, now you can simply and really fast load your 3D model with the texture and it will be textured as you, as you want it and also you can uh, control and change lighting and some things as like specular or ambient strength and it's super nice and I will not talk in the my intro uh, too much this time I will just show you how it looks and uh, it still uh, works amazingly in parallel with my 2d engine engine and uh, yeah so uh, now you can also see that here I included lighting debug window uh, it's it, it isn't hidden yet and uh, I actually like when it's like masked and I can like uh, be lost in functionality and uh, yeah so I will just load my level where is no, I, I, I removed the background because it's uh, mm, not necessary now in my showing case and uh yeah i can i i, I can start with the uh, the level that you all know with the animation and you see that i uh changed uh, back the background and also now i'm going to load my third level where i only process uh, 3d meshes and here we go it's one sphere a monkey and cube I uh, spent like five minutes on uh, over UV tiling and uh, texturing, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm really glad that my monkey looks like it looks. I can still zoom, and uh, now you can uh, can look at it in much better way because it's closer, right? Uh, let's take a look into my uh, debug lighting functionality, which I'm really proud of. Uh, here I increased specular, I can increase or decrease ambient and it will be super dramatic. And also, yeah, my lighting is completely wrong right now. You can uh, sometimes see this like weird uh, stuff that my sphere is lit uh, from the two sides and it's super, super stupid, but I will, I was, I was super tired. I will uh, change it somewhere, somewhere in the near future too. Oh, but I also was able to fix my, uh, the, uh, my bug that I had with uh, uh, when I was sometimes resizing windows, I had a uh, lost device or timeout error. Uh, now it's gone because like I just know everything about synchronization. It's a joke. And I also can uh, change light color, probably. And it's also super funny. I'm not sure yet how it's like. It's, it's just all this lighting uh, stuff that I made, I implemented uh, super uh, in a hurry, so they might be super broken, but uh, I will just change it some, some like light position, what's like it doing, it's super weird. But anyway, I just like that it's uh, controllable uh, and changeable and maybe in some time I will fix it but it's still super cool that it looks like like it uh, how it looks uh, so yeah I guess that's all for my presentation okay let's go briefly through the code uh, I don't have like much to present uh, today but um, yeah, you now here here you see the debug light function that is just like uh, doing this lighting window that you saw in Imgui. 
and I have here like my camera data buffer, uniform buffer that I'm pu pu pushing to the uh, GPU. And I also increased it. It's like now much, much bigger. I am also like, yes, all these datas are going to my draw function. Oi. Um, when I now initialize, I, uh, in initialize the scene, I am um, in, uh, yes, here in init resources, I am at the end uh, uh, doing again this like reference to my resource data structure with uh, the reference to the texture, uh, texture file uh, that will we use uh, to map our uh, model, like for example, here it is, and I used it also in Blender, and yeah, so uh, also here is my some kind of like position uh, offset, so I can like uh, draw them uh, not on each other. I mean the models, and uh, hmm, let me see if I change something else. Yes, and like uh, briefly, you can take a look to my uh, fragment shader for lighting. And uh, yeah, I just took the code from the Learn Open GL uh, website and uh, reused their maths. But I guess since it's not working or I'm doing something wrong, I will, I will, I will look at this later. Oh, I guess the thing that I can show off a bit uh, is my new uh, file image helper and I, where I took all the stuff that are related to image creation like image uh, create info stuff uh, image view create info stuff and I'm like have my separate function for creating a particular image uh, also memory barriers uh, copy function and now for example in uh, when I create the texture oh also then I, I created a depth buffer I forget to say it's also really important um, yes and like I have it like here this function uh, where I just uh, set up the depth format uh, calling this image helper create image stuff I have also like my uh, uh, small structure which contains all this like texture and stuff information uh, yeah and like the same thing I'm doing when I'm creating my textures I now also like calling image helper create image then I submit using memory barrier copy memory barrier and the string freeing memory I think it's pretty nice and beautiful implementation I also wasn't able to help myself and not to open a render doc and just like briefly take a look how it looks like when I have super super empty uh, scene and stuff and uh, uh, I, I won't I won't spend much time on it because I don't have much time yeah uh, but I want just to show like when I'm beginning render pass and like we are starting to uh, drawing my uh, 3D objects uh, just like super crazy and cool like I have this input and it's like you see texture sampler and like uh, now I have my like image that it was uh, rendered here is also my depth buffer and like let's take a look how it looks uh, yeah, I have just to increase a bit range like decrease and you see that each time I just add another object and it's super cool and I don't know if I, I have to talk about it uh, later uh, in the future more uh, but I guess I still will because I really enjoy using this program um, yeah okay I guess it's all for today and I hope you enjoyed and next time I will try to improve my lighting and maybe add some camera movement and like so you can like see stuff around and uh, I don't know what I will do next because I just I'm super 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 excited and uh, I wish I can just uh, write my engine and no work, no food, no sleeping, but like uh, we all are humans. So uh, have a nice week and uh, see you next time.